The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Recently, Evinrude introduced its new 150 horsepower engine, the E-Tech G2 150. Its compact design combines lighter weight and lower cost, making it a good candidate for saltwater bay boats and offshore center consoles in both single and twin installations, bass and multi-species freshwater fishing boats, sport boats, and pontoon boats. Like all Evinrude E-Tech G2 engines, it has remarkable torque at the low and mid RPM range, something that we'll demonstrate in this video. Further, it's also very fuel efficient, something that our recent tests on a number of boats have proved. One reason why the E-Tech G2 150 is lighter and less expensive than the G2 150HO version is the track midsection. It does not have the internal steering mechanism of the HO engine. Rather, it's designed to work with conventional external hydraulic steering. It's 30 pounds lighter and less expensive, and this makes the new E-Tech G2 150 ideal for repowering applications as well as new bone installations. Because with the Evinrude E-Tech G2 150, every stroke is a power stroke, it has 30% more peak torque than competitive four-stroke outboards in the low and mid RPM range. This improves acceleration in virtually all applications. It means boats will get on plane quicker with less bow rise and stay on plane at lower RPM when others start plowing along. And it means you can get on plane faster with a heavy load and tow boats can get wakeboarders and skiers up more quickly. Owners of bass boats will like the quick hole shot times. Now let's look at some of the E-Tech G2150's features. To add oil, simply remove the top panel. There's easy access to the oil fill for the 3 gallon oil tank, which is the largest in class and should last up to 50 hours of operation. Also at the top of the engine is the Magneto style alternator, the only system of its type in the industry. It's driven by the crankshaft and eliminates the belts and pulleys of a traditional alternator. This unit produces 133 amps, 50 of which are sent to the house battery to power onboard accessories. The engine's brain, the raw water cooled electronic management module, is also at the top of the engine and controls how much fuel the cylinders get on each stroke as well as automatically winterizing the engine when its owner is ready, thus avoiding a trip to the dealer. The lightweight side panels remove easily compared to the heavier one-piece cowls on competitive motors. Special custom colors such as the lime green seen on this Manitou are available through specific boat builders. With the side panels removed, on the starboard side is the oil tank that has a digital sending unit that provides accurate information about the amount of oil left. Forward of the oil tank are the starter and fuse box which has a backup fuse inside. Evinrude designed the 66 degree engine block specifically for direct fuel injection. Each cylinder has its own injector which optimizes fuel delivery and provides the cleanest emissions in the industry. Moving to the engine's port side, forward there's a fuel pump diaphragm aft of the vapor separator. Continuing aft, we see the white fuel water separator and gear oil reservoir. The bottle is clear, so an owner can now see the quality of the oil as well as the quantity at a glance. At the bottom is the E-Tech G2150's SLX gear case. It has a large anti-ventilation plate, a straight leading edge, and two low water pickups. The cambered skeg eliminates the need for a trim tab. Inside the gear case, Evinrude uses the same robust gears and shafts used on the G2300 horsepower engines. This means that they can take the rugged use and abuse of high-speed offshore operation. They also let the motor swing a bigger propeller. Another feature is iTrim, an automatic boat trimming system, something that beginners will like. Additionally, all E-Tech G2 models also have digital shift and throttle. Forward of the drive shaft in the lower unit is the digital shift module. It gets a digital signal from the helm and smoothly shifts the gears, eliminating that clunk we all used to hear. The 66 degree block is epoxy coated and the lower units are coated with titanium oxide to dramatically reduce corrosion. The engine has a 5 year warranty against corrosion and that coincides with the 5 year warranty on the whole engine and the 5 year or 500 hour first scheduled maintenance, something that is big time and a money saver compared to most other outboard engines. And that's our look at the major features of the all new Evernude E-Tech G2150. For Boatest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.